All right, how we doing, boys and girls? Your boy, Marcos1205, the numbers after the name. This is my savior, man. This is what save Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for me, man. I love this gun. I, I love this gun like like T.O. used to love his quarterback, man. I mean, this is just, oh, it's a beauty. Even if it didn't get that guy one shot, one kill. This is what I was looking for right here, the August. Oh, I am a fan of the August. If you haven't checked out last week's hate, hate on the hater, on the, on the haymaker, it's not even hate, it's, just, it's real talk. Real, real talk on the Haymaker. The Haymaker's trash. The Argus is quite the opposite. So, from picking up the Argus just a handful of times, I'm talking to my boy who we kind of figured out, you know, it's kind of like the KSG equivalent, I guess, in this game, for, for lack of a better comparison to it. But in playing through it, man, I like it a lot more than I ever liked the KSG. The KSG was always a bit awkward, and the Argus has a little bit of awkwardness in that. You know, you kind of have to lead a little bit with the Argus, you know, something that you don't necessarily have to do with most shotguns. Um, it, it has a, a crazy range on it, like really good range, even without long barrel. Like, you don't need long barrel for this one, man. Believe me. Uh, it, it, it's a one-shot, one-kill for the most part, uh, even though sometimes you will get a hit marker. Uh, it is a bit of a pain. Yeah, man, I couldn't believe it. Is that a toy car? That had to be a toy. That damn toy car, man. All these kids in the toy cars. Um, it's a one-shot, one-kill for the most part. Uh, occasionally, you won't get it. Uh, you kind of have to, after every shot, you know, lock and load it back up over there like you see. Just that it's got that little hitch over there. I put on, put on the show over here. I'm like, listen, man. Listen. 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 But whatever. I got my streaks. I'm like, hey, man. I was like, I'm just trying to get my streaks. Try to get this little thing going. This little camo uh, going over here. The little hero challenge for this. I'm at focus, man. I, I, eventually, once I get there, I'm going to kind of lay down. Maybe I, I might even do a ranking. Let me know what you guys feel about that. I'm thinking about doing a ranking. For all the specialists, once I get all the hero camels, and I've, I've literally I sat down, and I'm like, I'm the expert at these. Let's see which one I like the best. For combat focus, every time I use it, I'm like, man, I forget how handy this is. If you plan this right in a game, kill confirm, all of a sudden, those two, three tags, boom, they become something better. And it's really well-tuned. This is a video. It's supposed to be at the August, but I'm ready to dissect it. It's really well-tuned because the more stuff you pick up, the quicker it goes away. Which I always found to be like, I, it, you know, I, it kind of sucks in terms of that. And I'm like, hey, sentry gun's done. Check what I got. Um, so the quicker runs out, which it sucks for me because I'm using it and I wanted to do well with it. But I completely get it and understand it because you don't want all of a sudden to just somebody pick, like, line up three tags, get all three, and then get like another three. Before you know, like, the dude's got like 6,000 points and like rolled over streaks. Like, I, I understand why that's needed over there and I understand the purpose of it, even if it isn't the best. But, uh, you know. It's, it's, it's good nonetheless, even with, with that little restriction, that little caveat to it. Uh, the, the biggest weakness with the arc is probably is the hip fire, honestly. It's not it's not good, especially for a shotgun. This is something that you're going to want to be aiming down sight for. And in all fairness, I put, put on a red dot on it for the better point in time with this. Something I did a lot when I had the uh, KSG as well was uh, use the, the red dot. And even I do these half aim kind of things, um, like that first kill up I got up top here. Then I hit that, I'm like, hold on, I got a tag, I got a tag, I got people coming, I got people going, I got people coming, I got people going, waiting for them, got them. And then we got popped. And we got popped, Mr. Rocket Launcher teammate got it. I was happy I spawned on this side because I had, I think I have a sentry gun still on the other side. So I'm gonna scoop that up over here. And then I see a care package, I'm like, what's going on? You okay, okay, I'll see you, Cerberus. Okay, I'll see you, dog. My dude, the Cerberus. I actually should start running here. I just started running. I, I put on. I, I was trying to get the. You have to get like four streaks in a row, uh, or four not four streaks in a row, but you have to get. This is kind of impossible unless you go and play like Advanced Warfare or something. You have to get four uh, streaks uh, in one game while using combat focus. So that's why I had the UAV on over here because I wanted to just you know at least get one. That was a pretty cake quick thing to do. Uh, as you can see though, hip fire is possible. It's not like impossible with it. It's it's just a little more difficult, you know. I think you'll have a lot better time hip firing with the Brecky or even hip firing with the with the uh, KR Rem. Uh, there is no Remington in this game. Let's put it that way. There is no Remy like there was in Black Ops 2, which is fine because I I think if we really sit down and honestly say it, it's probably overpowered in Black Ops 2. To me, the August though is a, I'm not gonna say it's OP, but it's it it could get there. You know, I think a good August player could put in a lot of hurt on people. The difficult thing, though, when I look and think about the Argus is it's going to be real difficult for me to get a nuke with the Argus, you know. I'm going to have options with it, you know, I'm going to be able to get a lot of kills with it. But 
you're eventually at a 30 kills, you're going to mess up one kill, right? It's just a little bit of a fluky kind of weapon in that regard. We finally got the two straight, the two uh, sentry guns looking at each other. We got a little service here in the middle. I'm like, okay, we got something going on. But you see that right there? Like, that should have been a kill with a shotgun, right? You know, traditionally, in, in terms of just FPSs, that should have been a kill. Up close and personal, in his general direction, we should be able to get that kill. And I should have been able to lay down some serious murder game right there. But with the Argus, it is, and you really have to aim a little bit ahead of people to get them over there. And you kind of have to time it. And to do that for a nuke, I think, is pretty difficult, you know. Uh, I managed to get a couple, of, or at least like one or two nukes, I remember Black Ops 2, with the Remington. Because I think it had a little bit of best of both worlds, you know. It had the range with the, with the long barrel, but it also had the hit fire and it had the aiming down sights if you wanted as well. I think the Argus is similar to that, just that it doesn't really have the hit fire, and it's you know, a little bit more difficult to aim aiming down sight. Not impossible, you'll get used to it. Uh, obviously, if you're going for gold, you're definitely going to get used to it. Def by far, the quickest gun I ever got gold. By far. And I think part of it was also just coming off the damn haymaker thing. I, I, I was so just like burnt from like shotgun. I didn't want to like a part of it. I was like, I don't even want to do this damn shotgun, blah, blah, blah. And I started using the Argus and I started remembering what it was to like kill this person with one bullet with a shotgun. Or even two like that one, which is, hey, it's not the best. I'm not the happiest person about it, but whatever. It works, right? Like, it, it, I got the job done. Get the hit fire there. That should have been a kill with a shotgun right there, for example. I, that to me is a little bit borderline as to why that's not a kill with a shotgun. Especially when you get a hit marker. I, I, you could sell me almost, which I find it kind of crazy that I would, but you could sell me on the fact that like I uh, I missed them, like I just missed them and didn't get them, that I could kind of live with. I could be like, hey, you know, I missed them, whatever. You can't just tell me though that I I, I put the gun point blank into his chest. He ate it and then popped me with, you know, a VMP or whatever the hell he's got over there. So we got 50 plus kills over here, man, on combat. Let me know what you guys think is the best shotty, man. I've seen a lot of people using the Brecky, Breachy, Breezy, Brucey. Uh, Brakichi. I've seen a lot of people using that. Uh, I personally, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of the August myself. I'm willing to ride or die with the one shot, one kill, not have the uh, pop, 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 fire they have with the Brakichi. I'm willing to ride or die with the August, man. That's what I'm rolling with. That's my shotgun class. You're going to see a lot more footage of that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Woo! We outie.